Maybe I should do something about that. Okay, but I wanted to hit F6 to see where theology is and what it'll give me. So it'll give me the ability to build a theocracy, which is interesting. Theocracy is a is a civic I can enable that makes uh, my kingdom sort of re resistant to other religions and also much more warlike. Uh, I could build a couple of wonders. Um, the Apostolic Palace, which is basically like the Vatican, is, is sort of what it is, but anyone of any religion can build it. And it's a unique it's a world wonder. Only one can be built, period. And then what you can start doing is start doing uh, votes based on... Uh, based on the population of the, this certain religion. So let's say I built this right now. It would become the Confucianist Apostolic Palace. And all of Confucianism would be united under me. And we could do, yeah, certain elections and stuff like that. There, it also opens up the possibility of a uh, religious victory. But for religious victory, I think I've got to spread my religion to, like, every civ, and I haven't done that yet. Uh, and the first person to discover it founds Christianity. You know what? If no one's done it, and uh, how do we check this? Here we go. Um, oh no, someone did found Christianity somewhere. Because I was going to say, I, it's worth doing just to snag the religion. Start a golden age, but I think it's too early. Um, I think, possibly, I'm just going to settle the Great Prophet. Now, the Great Prophet gives me two hammers and five gold. So I've got a commerce city over here, but I've got this city here, which literally just produces gold by itself. Um... Uh, rather than commerce, uh, and that's because of the uh, the shrine to uh, Confucianism is here, and that's what it does. Oh, that that reminds me. That's what I have to do. Okay, one sec. Um, and so what I could do is build more wonders here uh, that directly improve gold. Period, such as Wall Street, and then concentrate on commerce-oriented ones over here, uh, which include things like science buildings. Take advantage of that. Um, so yeah. There's something to be said about pumping the great profit here and improving the gold so it multiplies more. But I just realized I have a second holy city uh, that has Taoism over here, and it would make, I think, maybe a lot of sense to build another shrine here and make a whole lot more money. You keep building that cottage. I know you keep stopping, but at some point it's got to get finished, buddy. Uh, okay, Confucian Temple is done. So he's happy again, and I need to start pumping out. Why can't I build a Confucian missionary? Oh, because we're at our limit for missionaries? Or, I mean, Taoist. Oh! This is Novgorod. I thought it was uh, uh, Moscow for some reason. Um, let's build a market. Well, let's start thinking warlike. Let's start saving up some swordsmen. I'm going to build a bunch of swordsmen. And, well, not here. This place is kind of shitty for that. Okay, we're going to turn off the great people production because I want my Taoist missionaries. We need to spread that, <coughs> at the very least all my cities, but elsewhere as well, and turn it into a money-making operation. Um, so, no, I don't want you there. Just, just automate, do something. So I think a peaceful win is still very likely, one way or another. Uh, my, my research is through the roof, so even a, a scientific victory. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a little bit of war, just to shake it up. So I'm going to save up some swordsmen. Oh, a random event. Two prominent families, one from our people and one from the Zulu Empire, are feuding over their children. A groom from our family jilted his would-be would -be bride by walking his cold feet right out of the temple, insulting and outraging his would-be in-laws. So I, I'm going to send condolences to both families and urge them to seek a peaceful resolution to their grievances, but I still end up with a minus one relationship hit with this Shaka, which kind of sucks. Luckily, Shaka loves me. He is... come on. He's still cautious, oh. Because of the minus one. Damn, he was really quite happy with me. He's still okay, but, like, Shaka could still potentially declare war on me, even though we're, like, otherwise such a good team. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta build up my military. <clears throat> I'm too much of a ripe target for these people. Enough of this religious nonsense. We're gonna lose if I don't build an army. I see Gilgamesh here. He's starting to threaten me. Insisting I give him alphabet. But, you know, he already hates me. He's of a different religion. He'll never love me. 
And I don't know where he is, but it's pretty far away, so I'm gonna say no. You know, if he wants to declare a war on me, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Alright, let's start building barracks, and we'll start building military units all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, barracks, although you're really a shitty production place, but do it anyway. Finish that cottage. Spread Confucianism. Mathematics. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm building towards the calendar. Now, what's interesting, and I build the barracks first, is <clears throat> mathematics also unlocks construction, which is what I need for catapults. And if I'm going to be attacking cities, I am going to want catapults. So, yeah, finish the calendar, but then go construction. That'll be very valuable. You guys just automate. Um. <clears throat> I think the launching point for the invasion is going to be Yekatinburg. As soon as it finishes the Great Lighthouse, it's going to start puffing out uh, ships to carry my troops. Do I have the right technology for that? Yeah, I think I do. <coughs> yeah, sailing. Good, good, good. <coughs> you, automate. Making tons of money. I'm going to bump up my research rate a little bit here. Excellent. I think I just discovered someone new. Ah, finally Isabella, the Jewish leader of Spain, who is going to hate me, like, no matter what. So, yeah, I'm going to say there shall be peace in our time, but that is a lie. There's no way we're going to have peace. She's annoyed with me. She doesn't want to open borders. Yeah, that's, uh... Hmm. Taoism. Okay, spread that shit. No. First one actually failed to spread it. That was a waste. Okay, barracks done. Good. Build me swordmen. In fact, I'm going to queue up a bunch here. You may become my main military city. Fortify. Ah, I can finally rush the Great Lighthouse. Which I think I will do. Yeah. Four more turns, I can chop it down. There we are. And it'll grow back pretty quickly, I think. Uh, construct the barracks, good. Um, it's actually unhappy over here, but... I think he's just going to have to put up with it while I build up a military. Axemen aren't bad. Yeah, alright, let's build a few Axemen. And here we are going to build some galleys. Oh, they only carry two people each. That's really shitty. <clears throat> so I'm going to need, like, a bunch. Production time is pretty slow, but as soon as the city starts to grow back, it'll accelerate quite a bit. And I've completed the calendar, which is why it, uh, it is zoomed out like this, because the calendar... Uh, it gives you the sort of mathematics you need to calculate uh, the size of the world. The, uh, you know, the whole thing about um, people thinking the world were flat until Christopher Columbus did his crap, that's bullshit. The Greeks, like, 2,000 years ago, had figured out the world was round. Like, they just, it's, a little bit of math reveals everything. Uh, you get, you know, you do the sundials, you figure out degrees and stuff, and, like, they're like, oh, clearly the world must be round, it's the only possible explanation. And, of course, they were right. Now, one thing I didn't realize about calendars unlocks a uh, another uh, marble-based world wonder, the Mausoleum of Mausolos, which is actually really useful. It increases the Golden Age length. So once I build that, um, using some of my great people from Golden Ages is actually going to be fairly valuable. So that's nice. And uh, that's it for this session. i got to head off to work, and um, we'll play some more later. Thanks for watching, viewers.